In this video, I'll show you how to mirror the screen of your iPad 11 with the A16 chip. This iPad uh, has been out since 2025 on your TV or computer monitor using an HDMI connection. So let's get started right away. So the iPad itself doesn't have any HDMI connector. It only have one of these USB type C port. What you need, well, there's two different things you can do. First of all, you can get one of these USB type C to HDMI adapter. Now the cheaper ones will only be able to output at 30 frames per second. I do not recommend them. I recommend one that is at least capable of 60 frames per second, which is more in line with uh, what you see on the iPad. I'll put links in the description, by the way. You can also get an HDMI cable that has one end, it's an HDMI, and the other end, an USB Type-C port, which you will not need an adapter if you get that one. Again, I'll put a link down below. So if you prefer using the adapter because you already own one of these HDMI cable, simply connect the HDMI in the adapter right over here, like that. Connect this end in the iPad itself. Connect the USB Type-C in the iPad and connect the HDMI in the back of your computer monitor or TV. It's very important to remember in which HDMI port you connected because most TV will have HDMI 1, HDMI 2, 3, 4. Just remember that number. So I'll go ahead and connect it. Let's power on the TV and select the HDMI port where you have connected the cable in the back. Mine already came automatically. So as you see, automatically the iPad will be recognized by the TV and will mirror whatever is on the display, you see, with very minimal lag. You'll be able to play games, open, I don't know, a web page, anything, a movie, and you'll be able to see it on your TV or computer monitor. If you go in the settings of the iPad, settings, display and brightness, you'll be able to see under display the TV or computer monitor that is currently connected to. If you tap on it, you'll have a few options depending what you have connected. So you can select HDR if your TV is compatible with HDR or your computer monitor or SDR if it's not compatible. And this is about it. You also have allow display mode changes, but don't touch this. It doesn't um, make much difference. Once you're done using your iPad, okay, the way it is right now, you simply have to disconnect it. And this is about it. Every time you connect it, it will appear on your TV quickly. As long as you are on the same HDMI that you have selected in the back. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video.